No, I call me Bill. What's your name? In the theatre of politics, curing discontent is key. You're I'd... saying you're going to help me up in cancer and everything else like for people? I've spent the last four years in and out of hospital that long. Both leaders are out to make the political personal. Hi, sir. And it doesn't get much more intimate than our health. And make sure as you grow up, there'll be more and more services to help you. We are going to invest more money in health than has ever happened before. It's a familiar political battleground. Labor's attack, dubbed Medi-Scare, waged in the final week of the 2016 campaign, almost cost the coalition victory. Privatising Medicare will be the end of Medicare as we know it. This is the biggest lie of the campaign. We saw the Medi-Scare campaign from the last election and I think what people are expecting and what health stakeholders are expecting is for there to be a you know, positive, forward-looking agenda. That agenda is to put taxpayers' money back in their wallets. We committed $70 million. An additional $250 million. More than a half a billion to take up the fight. We'll see a $2.3 billion investment. It's one of the opposition's biggest policy planks, a $2.3 billion fund to tackle cancer costs. It includes more than $400 million to cover specialist visits, and $500 million to slash waiting times for cancer patients. For the coalition's part, in the lead up to the election, it estimates it already spends up to $6 billion a year on cancer treatment and services. And so far this year, it's put eight expensive cancer medications on the pharmaceutical benefits scheme, making them much cheaper for patients to access. We know that people aren't getting healthcare because of out-of-pocket costs and that leads to increased health expenditure when they enter hospital, for example, because they haven't received their preventative care. The community is saying out-of-pocket costs are an absolute pain point for us in healthcare um, and something has to be done. Both parties, it seems, agree that out-of-pocket costs are hurting patients. For a standard visit to the GP, the Medicare rebate is $37.60. If doctors charge above that, you pay the gap. If elected, Labor has vowed to end the rebate freeze in its first 50 days in office. The coalition says it will lift the freeze before the year is out. Both sides are hoping boosting the amount doctors are reimbursed will mean you pay less to see the GP. But questions remain about how likely that is. The government can't tell uh, GPs or specialists what to charge. And so some of that rebate may go into uh, provider pockets. Adjusting the Medicare rebate is just one strategy being used to tackle out-of-pocket expenses. Another is rebates for scans. Labor says all cancer patients having an MRI will get a Medicare rebate and that up to six million scans such as x-rays and mammograms will be free of charge. For its part, the Coalition has allocated $375 million for 50 new MRI licences, as well as $33 million to pay for MRI scans for breast cancer patients. And from 2020, they've promised to end the Medicare freeze on most X-rays and scans. Many of the pledges made by the Coalition on Health were announced in the federal budget. Instead, during this campaign, it's focused on jobs and its economic record. But analysts say so far what's missing from both parties are significant reforms which would improve care for Australians living with chronic health issues. So they are trying to address uh, some inherent problems within the healthcare system, but a lot of it uh, is based on a short-term view. Uh, we need to continue to introduce healthcare reform into the system. We need to prepare our healthcare system for future challenges. And we haven't seen uh, much sophisticated thinking around that uh, throughout the last couple of weeks. People's experience of the system at the moment is one of disconnected and really poor coordinated care. We need GPs working with pharmacists, working with physios, working with psychologists so that they can provide really customised wraparound care. Hey Andrew, how are you going? Whichever party wins office, whether they offer that kind of coordinated health care remains to be seen.